Hi, I'm Hub Arkus, along with Pro Football Weekly Executive Editor Dan Arkus. We continue our series of the 32 NFL teams training camp opening reports. And now we take a look at the St. Louis Rams. And, you know, Dan, one thing that is sure when you've got the second worst record in the NFL, a lot of turnover on that roster. A couple key free agents, veterans, as well as rookies who figure to make a difference this year. Well, you know, their top uh, target in free agency hub was Corbin Finnegan, who played under new head coach Jeff Fisher in Tennessee, and uh, he adds uh, a lot to that defense. Uh, very reliable, quality guy. Uh, you know, defensive tackle Kendall Langford uh, from Miami. Uh, him and the first-round rookie Michael Brockers really fortify the defensive tackle position. And also at cornerback, along with Finnegan, you've got uh, Janoris Jenkins and Tremaine Johnson. They've really made some dramatic improvement, I think, there at that position. We talk about gambling in the draft. Those two young cornerbacks, those are boomer bust type picks. Now we look at the offense, which has been the bigger of the two problems for this team, although they haven't been very good on either side of the ball. Where will they focus in training camp? Most important aspect of the offense they've got to get fixed. It's a no-brainer. They've got to get Sam Bradford comfortable again. He looked like David Carr reincarnated last year. Uh, you know, he just was really good his rookie year, and he just regressed under Josh McDaniels. They're simplifying the offense. A lot of it is that offensive line needing to protect him much better, but that's the big key. Jeff Fisher, of course, a defensive back, a cornerback in the NFL, a defensive coordinator before he was a head coach, and his defensive scheme almost always starts up front. He likes to be big and tough and stop the run. Will that be the focus in training camp for the St. Louis team? Yeah, I think it's up. What, it's what's up front that counts, and their inside pass rush last year hub was not good. Their defensive tackles had only four of the team's 39 sacks. I think, you know, Brockers and Langford are going to help out in that regard. And then uh, the secondary was just so banged up last year, that cornerback position they lost a bunch of guys, but now they've got Finnegan, Jenkins, Johnson, so they should be much better there. Even with all the veteran additions and some of the rookies, this team's been drafting high for a while now. There's got to be some young veterans on the team that Fisher is planning on stepping up and making a difference this year. Yeah, you know, I think the most interesting is Jason Smith, who a lot of people think has kind of been a bust after being uh, the second overall pick selected a couple years ago, but they think that he can bounce back, and him and Roger Saffold, who had a tough sophomore year, uh, they, they think are going to come back big. Lance Kendricks is a tight end that uh, you've got to watch. And of course, Danny Amendola, who was Bradford's top target a couple years ago, uh, he, he's back after missing most of last season. So you know, you know he's probably going to be pretty uh, important. You know, when you're only winning three games a season, there's not a lot of shocks when it comes to cut down time. But any veterans on the bubble for this club? Well, you know, Brandon Gibson, he was a starter last year. And I think with all the, the uh, moves that they've made, including Steve Smith, the ex-giant, he could be in trouble. And you've got a couple of guys who were suspended, who are going to be suspended at the start of the season, Austin Pettis and ex-Colt Brody Eldridge, who could probably be on the bubble. St. Louis Rams figured to have one of the most competitive training camps in the NFL. New coach, a lot of new faces. For all of our 32 NFL team training camp opening reports, stay right where you are at ProFootballWeekly.com, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.